Piggy, what's okay. what's Nando been secretly up to? Oh, that. Um, well, uh, I'm not going to tell you about that because then I'd have to. Well, yeah. Well, um, I've, got, I've had permission from the Nando man himself, but I'm, oh, I'm not going to. No, 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 not for not for the really dark stuff. <laughs> That's not been brought up anywhere yet. Okay. No, no, no. I mean, all uh, I know about Nando is he, he's into his tractors. Trust, trustless shared nodes um, is on the way. Um, so you can basically set up a collateral transaction inside your own wallet and then delegate the, the power of that to another address in some form. The exact mechanism, we've got to do some testing before we decide on the exact mechanism because there are different ways verification can potentially mess with it slightly. The way that Nando showed me was the fact that you could lock smaller amounts in everyone's wallet that are involved into that yeah. node, which is pretty cool stuff. And you could also lock yeah. them as like a minimum of like 30 days. Uh, so it just saves them having uh, having an unstable node. Um, you know yeah. what I mean? I thought yeah, that but really that's cool, so. one of the other reasons why we've put time lock transactions in there. Yeah, but he's using the Bitcoin time locks, isn't he, at the moment? Not necessarily RTM based time locks, as far as he, I understand it. Uh, uh, but H, no, no. Well, I believe that's been we've moved past that because HTLCs you can just putz with the wallet and and move the funds anyway. Yeah, I think. One um, of... Or well, what you can do is you can make a transaction like on your own local system. You set on your own local system for it to meet the conditions for you to be able to move the funds. And then you take that signed transaction and you move it to another system and broadcast it there. And it will validate with the right keys. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of testing has been going on with that. Um, cool thing about that is um, uh, the, the initial node de deployer... Uh, the person that creates the server sets their uh, operator reward and then uh and then if that's so uh, yeah i mean it, it's one, once it gets ironed out it's gonna be and if a that, big deal because it's not gonna be the same as there are several other coins that do different forms of delegation um some of them do it well some of them do it awfully. Some of them do it easily, verifiably, and some of them use it as an obfuscation method, basically. Um, but they mainly do delegation to staking pools. There are a couple that are doing shared nodes as well, but they've got very complicated multi-sig procedures to the point where nobody's going to use it ever yeah, yeah. because it, it's so hard to use i think it would be good to 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 have like uh trustless peer to be a node lists where you you could compete on the rewards of your node based on the operator reward so yeah. you'd show that and then you know you could be able to choose the right one uh nando was also talk, talking about uh, actually branding the node with a name so you could say oh you know i'm on uh i'm on piggy's node or i'm on sherm's yeah. node you know so that that would be something that would be really cool i think and uh yeah yeah i mean i'm really excited for that